working hard so you don't have to. Conglomerated assets. Our portfolio of stocks get a rise out of everyone. Conglomerated assets. Mm -hmm. Keeping you abreast of the latest market fluctuations so you come out a winner. Conglomerated assets. Sorry, uh, I wasn't trying to. I mean, I wasn't. I mean, I, I didn't mean to. Save the mail room. I'm late. <sighs> what? Never do anal when you're wearing white. Seriously? Come stay. In front. Stop. Just stop. I need a clean shirt. I give you mine, but you are missing certain pieces. Stop. That's not what he said. Friday again, is it? I always miss that. No, it's Rudy's Black Monday. Shirt off your back? I usually uh, get dinner before they have their way with me. A la. Goldia. Buy you a new one at lunch. <laughs> Excuse me, senior, it's time to... Senior? Crap, crap, crap! <clears throat> so, everyone, here he is, our newest hire, fresh from his Stanford MBA. You can all just call him Junior because, well, he's my son. Crap. Shirt spilled. Late. Sorry. Okay, well, that's all for today. You'll all excuse me. I, oh, hello. Well, <clears throat> I seem to have forgotten to mention I'm retiring today. What? There'll be a formal announcement later on, but I wanted you to know now, which is why I brought in Junior. Yeah, I know it's a surprise, but uh, Junior, please, a few words. Dad, serious. Just tell them your vision. 2020. <laughs> Your vision for conglomerated assets? My vision. Nothing will change. No, sir, nothing. Conglomerated will run as it has all these years with a Rigby at the forefront to guide me. You, to guide all of you. That is all. Well said, Junior. Lunch? It's uh, only 9.30, sir. Oh. oh, oh, good. So I have time to get around in before lunch. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, good, good luck, son. 
You knew. I did not. Yes, you did, and you were late. What does it matter if I was late? He was going to retire anyway. You were late. And since we still don't have a marketing director, these dickwads just approved an ad campaign that Chase and the Oink Squad put together. I thought I nipped that in the bud. No, you didn't. Nips on full display. See for yourself. Oh, man. Nope. Not a one in there. Just the, the Jiggle Patrol. Look, I am an IT specialist, okay? I don't do porn, really. If I wanted to do porn, I would have moved out to the valley and had silicone put in my punani. What? I'm the one who has to upload that onto the web. I don't think so, Rudy. I do not think so. I'm on it. My grandmother did not raise me to be no pussy pusher. Do I look like a pimp? Excuse me? I said, do I look like a pimp? This a bad time. You may remember me, uh, mailroom. Actually, I prefer Donald. I like being called Junior. Hey, Junior, just her. Congrats, way to go, dude. And you are? I'm Chase, Chase Connor. <laughs> me and your dad, we get way back. To the company picnic. I, I can tell him, right? See, we're, uh, you know, friends. Like with middle fear. We are not. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just a little joke. Because it's a dude thing. What? I don't speak, dude. Take it away. All right. I am elder. Splat. <laughs> okay. Look, uh, I know to you I started out as mailroom and ended up as. Junior. Right, but as I said, I am uncomfortable Junior, that... Junior, no one mentioned we landed such a stud as a CEO. <sighs> I'm Quincy. Really? You a cowboy, Junior? Uh, I'm sorry, do you work here? I'm in sales. Highest performer, so your daddy made me manager last quarter. But you know, manager isn't as high as senior B. <clears throat> Of marketing. What? Oh, it's good to have goals, don't you think? I do. I think, I mean, often. I bet you do. Don't take too long to come and see me. You know, I'm right under you on the 30th floor. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You'll always be on top of me. Hilarious. <laughs> See that? Duh. Damn Quincy's always getting ahead on her behind. It is a curvy behind. Please, if you were to take a quarter and toss it on that behind, your rate of velocity with which that quarter repel would not take it the requisite meter to qualify it as a badunk dunk. What? QWERTY meeting, break room. Could you please stop with the QWERTY reference? You typing on a keyboard? Yes. Well, if you ain't the one ordering what's to be typed on that keyboard, you're a QWERTY. Biatch. Yes. Making a fresh pot of coffee. Be there in five. Junior? 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 Would it be too much to ask for you to pick up the phone, Junior? <laughs> I didn't even know you were trying to... Where's the button? Stanford. Uh, 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 who are they? We have to 10 o'clock. I'm taking my break now. They are good ideas. I'm rooting. We are good at it. Rooting. 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 What's with the shirt? I had to take the bus because my car broke down. Then just steps away from the building, Junior dumps coffee all over me, drops a box on my foot, grabs my boob. Did I forget anything? Oh, yeah. Then I called him mailroom. Damn. You know the odds of that happening on the very day you meet your new boss are about 1 in 75,000? How do you figure? You take the classic A over F. Uh, never mind. Pour the good stuff. Is that fresh? As a 14-year-old with a bad attitude. Well, then load me up. So, what do you two think of Junior? He's gonna fire Rudy for sure. 
Really? By my calculations, there's a 1-5 chance. You see, I take the N as in no, she didn't, and multiply it by the Y as in why she ain't packing? I don't know. And I come up with D. Don't let the glass ceiling hit your ass on the way out. He's not gonna fire me. Okay, okay, he might fire me. I mean, I did call him mailroom when he spilled coffee on me. Oh God, my shirt. My assistant picked up my dry cleaning this morning. I gave him your shirt. Should be done by five. You're an angel. And you are an asset. <laughs> <clears throat> I hope you don't get fired, Rudy. Well, if I do, you'll all know within an hour when this place goes to hell in a handbasket. Stanford over there doesn't even know how to turn on the intercom. Ivy League, whatever. Well, I went to Brown. MIT. Harvard, and I say he's gay. Really? Really? What makes you say that? I can tell. He's not gay. The flagpole didn't salute. Yes, it did. Gross. Still, he's kind of cute, though. Shut up. He's a gay biscuit I would have loved to butter. Quincy. Mmm, I would drink his biscuit. I would drink it down. And get a promotion in the process? You know the odds of getting fired rather than promoted when sleeping with the boss are actually 70-30? What? 70% of your ass is grass. Never a good idea to dip in the company ink. Mm -hmm. Well, what about blowjobs? Leaving, leaving now, because I'm the one who has to deal with the biscuit. I mean, Junior, just stop, okay? Just stop. Senior? Rudy, oh, uh, come on in, come in. <clears throat> yes. Oh. <sighs> oh, thank you. Senior, you, you should have told me. Well, I didn't really know myself, um, thanks. But, uh, I guess it's for the best, you know? Change is, uh, change is good. For example, I cut salt out of my diet and my blood pressure went right down. <laughs> I do love salt. Senior. Rudy, did you ever think that maybe if you made one little change that your whole life would be different? Actually, I have been meaning to talk to you for about example, the For example, the night I met my wife, my dog died. I was very sad. I'd had that dog since I was a kid. That's very sad, sir. Yes, it is sad. I was, I was very sad, and sir, I needed a drink. You promised me I walked that up to job a bar, and there was this woman sitting there, and she was breathtaking. Job and so I walked up to her, and she said, well, you don't look like a John. And I said, well, I'm Donald, and I don't know you, but I, I know I love you. So let's go to Vegas on my jet and get married. And we did. <laughs> if my dog hadn't died, and, and I didn't need a drink, who knows what might have happened. I might have just got another dog. Sir, the... Then there's Junior. Very big company, Rudy. Very big shoes to fill in. And, oh, yes, thank you. Uh, it's a very big company. Mm, that's better. <sighs> so I am glad that nothing is gonna change. Looks great. You see that shot right there? That single shot? It's genius. <laughs> I thought it was a nipple. I thought it was just cold in here. <laughs> <laughs> see the camera move? It's a synchronized crane shot. Same move on a different nipple. <laughs> version of the conglomerated assets logo. Back to the crane shot here. Look, it's smooth, looks really, really good. But how did you not notice the boom shadow on the thing? Take a look. Boom shadow. Shadow from a pose. Well, I paid for a good education, but who knows what you get. Sir, the senior VP of marketing Ernie, no. job? No, no job, just your job for now. You know, but if you work on Junior and you teach him, <laughs> you'll be out of here in no time, no time at all. Now, would you call the car, please, and go into the club? Yes, sir. Thank you. Boom, shadow. Oh, oh yeah, that's how we do it. <laughs> that's it right there, see? Uh, oh. Boss, are you sure you haven't done this before? <laughs> <laughs> Getting off, I mean, I guess I'm kind of a pro. I've been doing it for a while, but, oh yeah. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> listen, Junior, I just want to say that I am relieved that you see the beauty in my campaign. Too long have I suffered the petty tyranny of the Quirties. Mm -hmm. The what? The Quirties. <laughs> That's a we call them. And by we, I mean I because I came up with it. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, that's enough. Yeah, you're right. Let's just get back to calling them skirts. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I meant. You know what, Donald? You said nothing would change. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yes, I said nothing would change, but what I meant was that- That's it! Everybody out! <sighs> Hello, Rudy. Junior. Donald. Did I hear you praise that softcore jiggle patrol? Well, it's not all bad. Did you approve it? Well, even if I did, what's it to you? What's it to me? What's it to me? Do you want this to look like some TNA brokerage firm that rewards sexism, racism, and Maleism? No, you can't. This company has been making money for people for over a hundred years. This company, your father and I, we made every decision together. Except when he would retire. Except that. But for the past seven years, we have made record profits. We have, we've... Consolidated assets and expanded our trading into markets abroad? Yes. Looked into diverse portfolios and repackaged those portfolios into the subprime mortgage market. How did you know that? <laughs> Went to Stanford. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> okay, I, I can't work that little intercom thingy. I and mean, I don't know where the coffee room is, but I'll get it. It's down the hall to the left. See? Progress. <laughs> Look, Rudy, if you help me get the company back on track, I swear I will promote you. One month. Five. Two. Three. Deal. Shake. Could have had me at two. I know. Killer instincts. I'm working on it. <laughs> I miss your father. He's only golfing. Oh, shit, shit, shit. But he should be here. Is it alive after the wrath of Rudy? Shut up, Quincy. I don't know what's gonna happen when I go in there. I'll be honest. I like it off. Be careful. Why? Wouldn't want you to pop an implant. Do not mess, Quincy. Do not mess. You can go in now. Which is why I think that the commercial that Chase and the boys came up with totally works. You see, Junior, my presentations always leave men speechless. Oh. Yep. Jazz hands and show tunes for that big Nancy. <laughs> Atta girl. Quite a first day. Quite. up to you yet? Uh, hard to tell. Yeah, she's a real ball buster. So is Quincy. Who? Oh, no, son, when I say uh, ball buster, I don't uh, mean... Are you in the back nine, or? Uh, yeah. I'm getting used to this, I really am. Um, your mother was right. Usually is. Uh, listen, Dad, um, first day and all? I... Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, nice work, son. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm sure the whole company's heard of you by now. <laughs> hang on, hang on a second. Running out of daylight, Grandpa. <clears throat> Dad. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Yeah. <laughs> nice work. Thanks, but it was a bit coitus interruptus. You know, just keep dangling the worm, and eventually the fish eats it. Well, I'm not the one with the worm. Oh. Oh, I got your worm right here. Not really? Because <laughs> my fish is hungry. Oh, that's really good, because my worm oh, is... Fuck it. <laughs> I think I get my worm out. I hear you. You have bronchitis, dude. What's it to you, punk? You have got to stop freebasing dirty hairy moves when you're alone. Hey! How was the first day of the rest of your life? Hmm? You know, working for the man. This is just temporary. Are you naked? I am as nature intended. Glorious. Manly. Primal. Naked? Had enough naked for one day. Oh. Your report on moving investments from low-grade mortgages to gold and new biotech? You read it? No, uh, I did. Interesting trend. Not a trend, a fact. Subprimes are on a spiral, down low, way low, Rudy. Waverly and I are both for real on divesting these subprimes more than we have. What's the man doing in there anyways, waiting for you to come in and wipe his ass? You have to get him to take this seriously. Senior was ready to sign off on this before he became a semi-retired golfer. Look, he's had like two days to get up to speed are on one of the- Are you defending him? No, I, I am not. Yes, you are. And what's with the hoodie? You all apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur now? We gonna catch you riding dirty? Coffee spilled. Again. Okay, I will have him read it. You'd better, Rudy, because if that H5 bird flu hits and we're not investing in the latest version of Tamiflu, heads, we'll roll. I need you to sign off on these immediately. Gotta read them first. Oh, your father is not was... here. I am. And I have to read them all. <laughs> Look, Rudy, I know we trusted you and everything, but we're friends, right? I got you coffee, right? Which is why I'm wearing the hoodie, right? <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna let my secretary make decisions for me. Well, thank you for making me feel like I work in the 50s. I didn't Here know. is your corporate card, your engraved president's pen, and a Rigby Jr. bobblehead. Oh. 
on those papers? Prepared for you by the QWERTYs or secretaries or whatever it is you MBA grads like to call us. Also known as your Ivy League team of risk assessment managers who respectfully and submissively suggest you sign off on them first thing in the morning. Now if you'll excuse me, I have some ironing to do. Pass it. Mm -hmm. Okay, spill it. We hate the ad campaign. All of us. All the women. Except Quincy. She thinks it makes her job easier when she goes in for the cell. They see boobs, they expect boobs. Mm -hmm. Rudy, how do you think he's doing? I mean, I think he's okay. I but like him better if he approved our recommends. Mm -hmm. Junior? He's helpless. All he's doing is reading. I mean, maybe he'll be caught up in a few months. Maybe. I thought you were all, give him a break, Yaz. He's only been here a few days, Yaz. Where's that, Rudy? Baking a pie. What? I hate it, too. Chase loves it. <sighs> Chase is a moron. To Chase. Ah, 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 ow! The no. moron. <laughs> all right, on to the subprime question. Mm. There's a lot That of... was a great earner. No doubt. But I think that Yeah, that was my baby. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, I pushed that all to a head. Big head. Very big. Head. Me. Boop. Yeah. You're welcome. Well, uh, the reports I've read indicate that we should divest and expand into gold, biotech. Okay. There's, sorry, biotech? <laughs> Mad scientists. <laughs> Listen, Junior, um, here's the thing. You're getting all upset about a few tiny downturns in the market. These are regular fluctuations. It will go back up. I mean, everybody wants to own a house, right? I mean, home ownership? I mean, that's like, it's the American dream. Wait, the Cordys that, that we are a demographic that's seen an increase in 49% over the last five years. And the fastest growing pool of net worth over the same five years. Erica, do you still have the original files from the campaign? Yes. If we hurry, we can have it finished in time for the big retreat next week. Okay, and everybody on the down low. Mm -hmm. What? Why, people? Means like keep it quiet. Keep it low. Oh, keep it down low. Right. <laughs> this last report from Waverly and Yasmin. Are you kidding me? I mean, you're gonna listen to a bunch of skirts? Skirts? <laughs> you're gonna let Team QWERTY run the company? Just like your daddy. <laughs> hey, let me help you with that. <laughs> get out, get out. <laughs> Listen, Junior, now I know you want to make your father proud. I get that. Oh, fuck it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, feisty. Me like it. Stay away. Come on. We would never work. Get off the house. Give me the Oh, sorry, you have a little bit of a... Uh, what? Right there. Uh, yeah, and uh, th th thanks for the, um, you know, the yes. thing. Mm -hmm. Waverly! Dude, just stop. Wilder, you missed Nam by a decade, man. Yeah, but if it weren't for my bum knee, I'd have rocked it in the Coast Guard. <laughs> hey, do you have any wings? Frozen ones. 
Not anymore. I ate them. Uh, the stove is broken. I know, it's cool. I mean, you just lay them out in the sun on some tin foil, and then you get a magnifying glass. Very satisfying. You know, caveman style. Mm. What? You didn't come home for lunch. <laughs> Feels good. Come on, do it with me. Problem. Beer, no wings. Mm. Mm. Corporate card. I always wanted to bone Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio. It's the name. Mastrantonio. Mastrantonio. Hey, she's hot. Hotter than Pfeiffer? Oh, fuck no. Not a blonde. Blondes are a lot of trouble, man. My last lady was a blonde. And that was... Kindergarten. Hello, Donald Rigby Sr. I mean, Junior's office. A hundred dollars for burgers, fries, shakes, and chicken wings? Well, what's the address? Donald, what you see before you is the shell of the man. I could have been somebody. <laughs> Shut no, up, dude. What about that script you promised me, huh? You know, the one that was gonna make us both contenders? It's in the vault, dude. In the vault. Okay, can you change that to pick up? I'll be there in 20 minutes, thanks. Crap. I gotta go. Did you hear about Bear Stearns? What? <laughs> He's got to sign these papers. I'm on it. You know, how about unlocking the vault sometime, dude? I'm at a film school for three years, man. I'm researching, refining, honing. I want to make sure that what you have in your hands is an instant American cinematic classic. I'm the Oliver Stone to your Brian De Palma. Don't worry, dude. Wings up. Okay, I'm coming. I put everything on the card. I know. They had to call me for the verification, especially after they saw the delivery address. I wondered if you'd gotten mugged on the way home. Looks like a thrift store threw up in here. Undergrad film school? Would never have guessed. Wings! Also from film school? Kinda. What are you doing here? Uh, you have papers to sign, Junior. Yasmin and Waverly have already told me that the portfolios have yet to divest off the subprimes, and we're still oh, da, 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 da. Slow down. You need to authorize the change. Right here. See? I'm hungry. You hungry? So, yeah, they let me go to film school. I just wanted to make movies. Did you ever make one? Yep. Zombie Secretaries from the Deep. <laughs> Sci-fi. Went to the Dump Fries Film Festival. Um, anyway, they never picked it up. So. I'd watch it. <laughs> um, what about you? What? Um, you know my deal. Uh, What'd you do? Uh, I was the younger sister. That's what I did. Huh? I got A's. I was on the debate team. President of the class? Treasurer. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, did invest our student budget so well that we were able to afford a celebrity performer at prom. Ooh, who'd you get? Carrot Top. I know, I know. No, 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 no. Carrot Top was huge at some point. <laughs> Anyway, uh, things kind of went south from there. My dad died, and uh, my brother got into Harvard, and he was the son, so... So he went, and you stayed home. Mm -hmm. 
put myself through City College and helped out at the shop. What kind? Gelato. Gelato? No dairy, better for Asian. Oh. Still sweet though. <laughs> yeah, you are. Is that? Oh. Yeah, he uh, has a. Dude, um, wake up. Mr. Antonio. <sighs> Leaving, mm -hmm. leaving, leaving now. <sighs> right. <laughs> uh, papers tomorrow. Promise. Okay, see you in the morning. How do you take your tea? Uh, what? I'm gonna change my mojo. Mailroom hasn't been doing so great with the coffee. Mm, right. Uh. I'll bring my own coffee and I'll also bring a change of clothes. <laughs> Look, give me that promotion and we'll call it even. Mm, you're stuck with me for at least three months. Manana. Ciao. <laughs> Dude, guess what I just found on the internet? Uh, porn? Obviously, but she looks like Mary Elizabeth. Master Antonio? <laughs> Genius! <laughs> After decades of credit expansion, the debt industry cracked this morning, losing billions and crippling many major Wall Street investment houses, leaving Main Street investors wondering, what happened? Subprime lenders would be wise to get out before the inevitable collapse. And moving on to other financial news. Hey, yes. Oh, oh, hey, well, we're, we're live, we're live. Wall Street is in a massive panic today as the market took losses in the mortgages and subprime markets. On a side note... Did you sign the papers last night? And did you fax them this morning, like I asked you to? Uh, Rudy, we needed to unload about 30% of our subprimes before the market opened. So did you sign them? Did you fax them? No. No, look, he said he wanted to read them first, so we... I'll, I'll call him. I'll... Where is he? It's 9 o'clock. Oh, God. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hey, Rudy, what's up? Hi, um, Lehman filed for bankruptcy. Did you sign those papers? Because, um, I have to get them in front of the Fed before anything else happens. The markets are going crazy. I, uh, I signed them. They're just, uh, hold on. Oh. I forgot them. Where are you? <sighs> Traffic on the 405. Wait, should I turn around and get the them? 405? It'll take him over an hour. No, we do not have an hour. No, no. Um, that, that, that hairy guy who lives with you. Wilder? No, he's not the most... No. I am the CEO. I will call him. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, can I sign him when I get there? Yes, I'll make another copy, but Donald, have him send those papers, okay? Do it! Oh. There is no time. None, Rudy. Our ass is totally on the line here. And Waverly and I want nothing to do with your ass. Well. That's right. You're going to get us all fired. And we told you, Rudy. We told you this is important. This is what we do. I'm a genius, and she's a bonds trader. We've been following this for weeks now. Well, then why didn't you trade before? Because that's not how you make money, Rudy. You wait until the last possible second to make the most possible money for the portfolio. We analyzed the risks, and now some idiot man is gonna fuck us. Not in a good way, fuck us. Not long and hard and all sweaty till you can't possibly come again, fuck us. He's gonna fuck us, fuck us. Yeah, with a chainsaw. Oh, sorry. I need more coffee. Wilder, Wilder, pick up the phone, you lazy mother... Stop watching the goddamn movie! Fredo is the traitor. They shoot him in the boat. Wilder, pick up the phone, okay? It's a matter of, of life and death and, and little old lady pensions. Michael mm. becomes the Don. He gets offers he can't refuse. Wilder, if you pick up the phone, I will get you late. You virgin motherfucker! <laughs> oh, Donald. Yes, what's this about getting late? Uh-huh. Do we have a fax machine? We do. Oh, that's what that does. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll do it! Okay. Now, you promise I'm gonna bust my nut? Okay, okay, it was a fair question. Okay. I'll find it. Yeah, I'll find it!
get laid tonight! Oh. Hello. You put it in backward. I still get laid, right? Put it in the other way. Do it! Do it! Okay. <sighs> yes! Oops. I just spilled all over myself. Looks like I'm gonna need to take my shirt off. Uh, um, Rudy, could you come in here for a moment, please? I don't do three ways, Donald. Uh, now, and bring some aloe. Stop it. Stop what? Uh, oh, not you. Stop it! Rudy! <sighs> Down, girl. You, off that desk. You, this is an office, not a bordello. I completely agree. What? is going on here? Donald, get off that chair. You, whore, off the floor. Get me a coffee in the company directory. I hope you're ready for some bowling because heads are gonna roll. I'm in sales. Of course you are. You in the market? Kinky. Call me. <laughs> Mother, I don't know what's happening. I was just Our sitting- Our stock is down. I understand you were too busy to sign papers because you live with some hairy man. What? what? Rudy, coffee. Now, I had to drive here all the way from Bel Air by myself. And I'm serious about that company directory. I am disgusted with each and every one of you. Lehman's has fallen. Do you know what that means? It means panic. It means misinformation. It means... This is a golden opportunity to grab the bull by the horn. Which means Which that it... means they'll probably be bailed out by the Fed. Excuse me? That's highly unlikely according to my calculations. Really? Yes. You're fired. I'm a genius. Well, now you're an out of work genius. Get out. Yasmin is correct, madam. The Fed already announced that they're not oh, bailing out. You're fired too. In fact, I was going to tell everyone on Friday when you couldn't riot, but you are all indeed fired. What? what? Except for you. Because, well, you got us into this mess, and you let me know my son is a gay man. <laughs> and you, because, well, we need more sales. Now, everyone out. Excuse me, but I really but don't what? Care. Now that you're all perky and that I'm in love with the boss kind of way, I'm going to keep you. Well, I have eyes over my dead body. You smell what I'm saying? Oh, mother, Rudy and I, we're not. No, we really are not. Oh, Donald, enough. Now, everyone, out. Well, Rudy, you can stay if you get me a cup of coffee like a good little girl. It appears I cannot stay. Ladies. Out? Yes, I did. Just a transition period that will get oh, all sure. of the jobs. Well, why don't tomorrow. we just get rid of everyone? Why not the whole book? You will simply have to understand all of these people have to go. Upper management gets to stay. The maintenance staff. Who's going to clean you? No, When's the last you. time you picked up a toilet no, brush? I've picked up more toilet oh, brushes. Great. I'm leaving. In the footsteps, but perhaps not as severe as the Lehman meltdown, are the staff cuts at conglomerated assets, where what's being termed a new broom measure was taken <laughs> by Miss Antoinette Rigby, who took her proxy power to the extreme this afternoon. Miss Rigby, are we to conclude from these recent wave of firings that conglomerated is falling on its assets? No, no. We are in perfect financial condition at conglomerated, just as we have been for the last 100 years. But I felt, in order to better serve our clients, harsh measures had to be taken. And of course, we canceled our annual board retreat. It would have been fiscally irresponsible. We are dead wood. Indeed. Oh, the hell no. Hey, wait, did they call you in for? Yes, they did, thanks. Oh, right. OK, spell it. OK, I got a new job. Well, second new job. This was just my day job. I had a night job, too. But anyways, I have a new one. Day job, if I want it. 
We were fired an hour ago. I'm a genius. I gotta keep busy, yo. I'm also a sound engineer for an indie label. We got a single drop in next week. And you? I went to Brown. I have a network of people, so. Great. I'm screwed. No, you're not. You'll get another job. It's okay for you executives. But I'm a grunt. I have been an assistant for seven years. Seven years! What was I thinking? You were helping run the company. Like, really help run it. You're a great executive assistant, Rudy. Let me make some calls. I don't want calls made. I don't want to manage someone's schedule. I want my own schedule, and, and I don't want to make coffee. I only want to touch that crap if somebody else makes it for me. Rudy, now's not the time to try and leapfrog. You don't have the experience. I know that, genius. Hey, I was only trying to help. Do you beatbox? You know what would have helped? Leaving. Leaving would have helped. The new restructured ad campaign that we were going to premiere, that would have helped. Making a career move after less than seven years, that would have helped. Wait a minute. What? The retreat. That's right, it's already paid for. Non-refundable, they busted my ass over it. Then we'll go. Spend some time on the company's dime. We could do all that stuff you wanted to do. Executive stuff like facials. And massages. <clears throat> I mean, it's included, right? I know you all are taking me on that retreat with you, right? I could use a stone massage. Who couldn't? Plus, which if we get into any trouble... I can just rewire the computers and make it all go away. Exactly. We all in? Hmm? Rudy? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck, Fuck yeah! yeah. Dude, what is the deal? I'm going away. Okay. You want to come? Road trip? Road trip! Hi? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I paid for it. With my card? With your father's card, and I was fired, so I deserve it. Yeah, you do. Me too. Us too. Hi, Wilder. Hmm? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <clears throat> what? Um, you look... Amazing. I mean, um, who else is here? Um, Erica, Waverly, Yasmin, and me. We got here last night. I've already had a stone massage, a Swedish massage, and an herbal wrap. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here. I, uh, wanted to talk to you. Anyway. You did? You know, the campaign you mentioned? Oh, right, yes, the campaign. Um, hold on. Here. Wow. It's, uh, light. Uh, the research is all in there, too. I didn't have time to make it all pretty, but it's totally sound. So, uh, okay, I guess we'll be going then. We're leaving? Oh, the master suite should still be available. What room? Your father's. Would have, would have been your father's. The master suite has two bedrooms. <clears throat> so... So... So, see you in an hour? Okay. Bye, Junior. Um. Donald, right. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> Shh. 
She's your density. What? Your density. Okay, let's just go back to hey, Even Marty McFly had a density. So? Well, it was good Michael J. Fox, you know, before... Oh, dude, so wrong. Hmm. Hmm. What's this charge? That looks like the retreat. See, we already paid. Paid invoice. I'm gonna miss my hot stone mm -hmm. massage. Hey, it's already paid for. We should just go. That's right. No one has to know. But I already canceled it. On TV. Mm, that doesn't matter. I mean, it's, it's good PR. It's just the perception that you canceled it. The perception? <sighs> oh, dude. Uh, don't tell me. I want to be surprised. Okay, well, I'm gonna go do some reading by the pool. Whatever, dude. Okay. You do know that all the sheets are Egyptian cotton, don't you? Really? Mm hmm What's the thread count? What do you mean the suite is not available? Who's in it? Donald Rigby Jr. I'll take the other one. Chase, Quincy, don't call me till I've had my herbal wrap. Bitch. <clears throat> Is there any way that I could get the key to Donald Rigby Jr.'s suite? He's my boyfriend, <laughs> and uh, I want to surprise him. Yeah, I'm kind of definitely not supposed to do that at all. Hmm. Hey. You can collect your own tip. Come on. Mm. Oh, no. Oh. We see a confident businesswoman. We see a woman who runs her own business. Strong business women who are in control of their own destiny. Mary was right. You've made it after all. And Conglomerated is here to help. So? So? So what did you think? Don't leave a sister hanging. You like, you know, like. I like. Oh, thank God, you sweat. My mother says women don't sweat, they glow. Well, then I'm glowing like a pig. Listen, Junior. Uh, Donald. Uh, we should call him uh, Donald now. N now that he likes our idea. We shouldn't just make him an offshoot of his father when he's an... A what? An individual. Look, we reclaimed the courty thing and made it a power thing, and we should do the same thing here for uh, Donald. Donald? Yes. Mm-hmm, okay. Donald, do I have your approval to upload this demo ad online? You can do that from here? Mm-hmm. Sure, why not? I'm, if it goes viral... It can serve as a soft launch before the official marketing campaign. Come on, yes. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well... Oh, look at the <clears> time. <throat> I gotta go look at the Nikkei. The stock market in Japan. I know. He went to Stanford. Right. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, I, I like a lot of things you do. Well, it wasn't just me. It was us. Um, everyone helped. Yeah, but it's great. So nice. And uh, it's just better, Rudy. Better for the company, for the employees, for us. Us? Well, for you. You know, as my uh, new VP of marketing. What? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh. Crap! What? Your mom 
is here, and she brought Chase and Quincy with her. Are you plans for dinner? No. You do now. Eight o'clock. Fancy. Fancy? Mm-hmm. I am planning a special dinner. Yes, sir. How can we help you? We're very discreet here at the Hotel Zoso. Oh, good. Um, I just want some candles mm, and... Wax on the nipples, bumping uglies, break it up in me, daddy. Please shut up. I just want candles on a table. Okay. Nice flower arrangement, mm -hmm. perhaps a bottle of... Mother, uh, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> they told me you took the better room. Oh, I, I came to relax. You know, all the layoffs really stressed me out. Oh, me too. Mm. Let's unwind over a nice bottle of Merlot. Uh, Ooh, cougar, wow, get it. Uh, I'd love to, really, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm detoxing, and as part of that, I am cleansing. You're what? Not eating, like Cher or Madonna. Beyonce did it too in Dreamgirls to get Would like you Diana. Shut skin. it! Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go meditate right now. Goodbye, mother. Well, if you hadn't dared me to. Oh, I dared you to? You dared me to. Listen, you told me you were gonna go in there, grab that VP of marketing position by the balls and drink it deep. Oh, and now you're here just waffling. I am not. R2. I am not. R2. I am not to infinity. Damn it. Listen, either you go in there and tie up Junior in a compromising position, or I will. You will. You're all talk, no action. No, the reason I can't do it right now is I'm a glycolic pee. Oh, don't worry about it, Chase. I got this. Well, you better, all right? <sighs> you are ruining my chakras. This hotel provides services not on the menu, am I correct? We do pride ourselves on being a full service establishment, amenities and such. How much to service my son? You see, he's very tense because he can't tell me he's gay. Really? Wait, really? Because I didn't get anything, pink? nothing. Just found out myself. Apparently he's been living in LA with some hairy man for years. Right under my nose. He's a bear cub? Yes. Now, I've never met this hairy man, but I do think Donald is somewhat of a catch, don't you? He could do better. Totally, yeah. Mm. Wait, so what do you want me to do? I want you to go to his room and blow away his tension. <sighs> as long as all of this is handled with the utmost. I am the soul of discretion. Darling, I love you. Girl, I'm a second dick. I know I love this job. This is going to make him rip your clothes off. Hello? He can't be ripping my dress. That's my dress. He can't rip it. Uh, hello? You think Junior's the ripping type? Probably not. OK, Rudy. No ripping of the dress. <sighs> Just the slow unzip, okay? Waverly? Yo, Waverly. Waverly, get up. No, I'm okay. Do this one myself. Never send a cougar to do a man's job. Mother, I told you I'm fasting. And I told you that is ridiculous. I'm giving you another minute, all right? That's it. <gasps> Isn't that Madonna? What? No. no I didn't see her. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> my mistake. And you're such a good son to give your mother one whole minute more. <laughs> oh, would you get me a glass of wine before you go? Good, how you doing? Good, thank you. Good. It's just dinner. It's gonna be thirty dollars for you, sir. Okay. Shit. Can you just put him on my room, please? Sure. Thank you. Don't know, and even if I did, I wouldn't tell you after she caught you boning Quincy. I didn't bone Quincy. That's not what she said. Who? Quincy. When? At the office. No, I, I mean now. What? I don't want to bone Quincy. I want to bone Rudy. Um, come out. Very nice. Well, then if it wasn't you, then who was it? <sighs> Wilder. Who? My roommate. The hairy guy who faxed the paperwork? You expect us to believe you. Oh, believe him. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't, you know, although, <laughs> Junior, I really would have liked it if you were a notch on my belt, but I found something a little bit more meaty. Mm. <laughs> no offense. <sighs> None taken. Mm. Oh, I found myself a wild <sighs> man. Oh, he's so big, I can hardly walk. 
Oh, come on, lover. A vast mateys. There she blows! Jeez, tell me the appeal, would you? I bet he's all dirty and low. Mm hmm Ladies, focus. Rudy? She said something about stopping at a dairy. Oh, girl, dairy free. Gelato. Okay, I'm out of here. Oh, oh, not so fast. Where are you going? To find Rudy. But you're gay. I'm not gay. You did the hotel click. What? Mm -hmm. Knew it. No, I'm not gay. What are you talking about? I sent the clerk to help you get over that bear you were living with. Where did you hear that? Chase. <laughs> yes, the red sausage for breakfast. Oh, take a bite. You should never believe Chase Antoinette. He's been scheming to take over the company since the day he got there. Donald. Dad, what are you doing here? I like to keep tabs on your mother, so I tracked her car. Donald. Well, you should take it as a compliment. I thought I'd show up and surprise you. Plus, I want to say to you, I saw your ad, the new ad on the internets. I liked it. You did? Yes. I did. You're all getting promotions. No, they're not. They're five. Antoinette, I am not arguing with you. Do you remember when we first met? fire, the passion. It was the night my dog died and you were at the Four Seasons, sitting there at the bar all alone, like you had nothing better to do. So beautiful. And I walked up to you and you said, you don't look like a John. And I said, that's because I'm a Donald. So would you ride with me in my jet plane to Las Vegas and marry me? And I said yes. <laughs> you said yes. And for the next 30 years, you did whatever you wanted to do, and I never argued. But now, I've got something to say. I hate retirement. It's fucking boring. Dad. Totally fucking boring. I'm a terrible golfer. So as of Monday, I'm taking back my company. Now, where's Rudy? She left. Well, are you man enough to chase her? Yeah. Then take the Porsche. But she is perfect for him. And listen, if you play your cards right and keep quiet, you're going to have gorgeous grandchildren with a head for finance. Now, what do you say we go get us one of those nice seaweed wraps and you give me a blowjob? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're so naughty. I know. Let's go. <laughs> Konnichiwa, Rudy-san. She speaks English, and we're Chinese, you dumbass. Oh, it's freezing in here. It's a freezer, dumbass. You called me that already. So what? Get used to it. I didn't bone Quincy. Wilder did. I know. I got a text. So? So? So now I'm just supposed to fall for you because you're cute and your eyes crinkle at the corners when you smile? You think my eyes are cute? I didn't say that. I said you would like me to think that. No. What I would like you to think is that you are a gorgeous, super sexy, super smart, city college valedictorian who can make a mean green tea gelato just as you know, easy as she does a national ad campaign that's already increased revenue by 30% among female clients. I did. You did. You totally did. <gasps> oh my god! I just love you! <laughs> what? Nothing. You said you loved me. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I meant I loved the... Dairy free. It's aphrodisiac. What are you thinking right now? It's fucking hot as hell in here. Our focus 
this is women. With their own money. Educated. Smart. And willing to take calculated risks. Conglomerated Assets is ready to serve you with a team dedicated to your specific needs. Heading the new QWERTY division of Conglomerated Assets are Rudy Lee, VP of Marketing, Waverly Thomas, VP of New Accounts, Erica Jones, VP of Technology, and Yasmin Rodriguez, a resident genius. We are here to work for you. And cut. That is a wrap, people. Hey! Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't think I could do it. Yeah. Oh, hold up, hold up. Who is this motherfucker? Oh, uh, uh.